Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. A video today on the uh, obscure, abstruse topic of typing in Paleo or Proto Hebrew. So, for those who are aware, well, if you've clicked into this video, you're probably aware that Paleo Hebrew was is an ancient form of Hebrew that, to the best of my knowledge, and as I said in my last video, I'm not a historian, predates the uh, Ashurit script and Ashurit is the name for the uh, familiar block letters of Hebrew that are in use today both in liturgical context and in everyday context in Israel. Uh, Paleo-Hebrew is not used anymore in either context but it is still of relevance, historical relevance, historical intrigue uh, particularly for archaeologists because when this was used to the best of my knowledge and again I reiterate I'm not a historian or an expert I'm just very curious about this topic um, it was used as a kind of day-to-day -day, uh, colloquial language and the font was used for colloquial day-to-day -day purposes like schooling and whatnot uh, before basically it fell and it's called in modern Hebrew Ketav Ivri uh, Hebrew script and then basically fell out of use and everything was standardized on Ashurit script. So um, now the interesting thing about the Paleo Hebrew font, there are some good resources about it online, is that it went through several different iterations. There isn't a single Paleo Hebrew font when archaeologists have done excavations from various periods, they found variations on the alphabet. So given that the ancient Israelite civilization was not uh, a brief period of time. The alphabet evolved. It also bears very close resemblance to the Phoenician script. And I'll just leave the, the history lesson there because that is truly about as much as I know about it. I'm not an expert, but I have, uh, I have actually read this guy's book, which is very worth, it's one of the few, um, few books on this whole topic by a guy called Jeff Benner. He has this useful website called Ancient Hebrew Org, and it's going to be one of the two resources I want to show you guys if you want to download it to your computer. Now, in a video I just uploaded, I've talked about the fact that I did uh, produce Paleo Hebrew scripts uh, ventures for my wedding, Birkonim, uh, and I had to do that process by hand because I couldn't find a keyboard layout in Ubuntu Linux, which is what I use. Now, I know most people use Windows or Mac, uh, but I don't think the situation is all that much better. So here's one way that'll work. I think irrespective of what operating system you use. So to find these resources, I typed into Google ancient Hebrew fonts. You could also probably type in paleo Hebrew fonts or proto Hebrew fonts. And there is a couple of resources. The first one is this website called BiblePlaces.com. And you see what I mean? They have a bunch of uh, different scripts based on this one just they just call paleo, proto synatic circa 15th century, proto synatic circa, circa 13, Lachish, Ketaf Hinnom, which is a very interesting place, Samaritan, and also there's a strong resemblance between Samaritan and Hebrew, which has been preserved today and is still in use today, in fact, and these ancient alphabets, because the two groups split off, the Jews and the Samaritans split off in ancient times, but unlike the Jewish, the standard Judaism, which has standard on Ashurit, the Samaritans still use their ancient alphabet in prayers, even though the Samaritan community today is really, really small. So there's this. Um, let's, let me just jump back to Jeff Benner's site here. So he actually, I like this because he gives you a little like kind of preview of each font. And then you can download this. So the one I used for my wedding, if I'm not mistaken, was Paleo Hebrew Middle Semitic. This is the Hebrew alphabet that was in use from about 1200 BCE and into the first century, this font was created by ebionite.org. Just out of curiosity, see what's here. Um, and you can download. So once you download, you're gonna get a file. You can see it's just uh, popped up here called TTF. Now I'm running through all this process for people who haven't done this kind of thing before. So if this is redundant, please feel free to skip through um, the video. And then you want to use the font installer on whatever operating system you are uh, using. So on Ubuntu Linux, it's called Font Manager. And um, you just basically point it to um, the font. So this is on my desktop, evyop.ttf, okay? 
And I don't think this is actually going to do ever anything because it's already been installed, or it should have been at least, maybe not. And it'll show you the glyphs. So these are different fonts I have on my uh, computer here that I've installed myself. And we can see this one called Evioni Paleo. And it gives you like a waterfall presentation of different sizes. Again, this is specific to Ubuntu, but, um, and you can see each individual glyph that you've downloaded to your computer along with a uh, Unicode uh, to get it up, right? So um, I can remember little bits of uh, Paleo. This is the Rache. This is the, that, sorry, that's the Beth. That's the, where is Dalit? I think that's Dalit here, Rache. Maybe that was Dalit, that was Rache. Anyway, I used to know how to read this, but I've gone rusty in the three years since my wedding. So that's, it's installed on your computer, and if you're in Windows and Mac, you can just follow the equivalent uh, you know, procedures and whatnot. So I'm now going to open up my, okay, so I've now installed my lovely Avioni Paleo font, and I'm gonna be using for this open office. Now it's a tiny bit finicky to get right to left uh, typing working in open office. What I needed to do was do tools options, and then under languages, I needed to enable a complex text layout for Hebrew, and I think this means that like, when it detects a right to left script, it'll give you right, right to left. Let me show you what I mean. So firstly, after installing whatever font, they should appear, and this should happen instantaneously, the font cache um, refreshes. If it doesn't, you might need to restart your computer. And I have Evioni Paleo. So let's say I wanna type in regular Hebrew, I'm just gonna go to Aleph, which is actually a script I quite like. Now I'm changing my keyboard layout here, okay? And what I'm also gonna do is go to this option here, which is uh, left to right, the right to left, right, left to right, right to left toggle, and I've gone for right to left. Or I can say, Shalom, Ani Daniel. And this is just me typing in, you know, regular Hebrew. Now, to type in Paleo Hebrew, I go down and I select my Evioni Paleo script. And now, I need to actually, now this is a difference between a font and a keyboard layout. So my, when my key layboard was in English, it reverted to an English script, but when I put it into Hebrew, the keyboard layout, not the font, and I had the right font set, it would work. So it's not a perfect process. Um, and this is it. Now my, my, my paleo is, is too rusty. I used to, as I say, in my previous video, know how to type this pretty well, uh, but it will work and you'll get your, uh, you'll get your text uh, typed out there. And uh, you just need to, you need to just be a little bit patient with the right to left finicky stuff um, and try it out in a few different programs. You could probably use this to better effect in something like latex. Um, and uh, in another video, if I can remember how I got it to work, I'll cover how to do a um, how to do an actual keyboard lay uh, keyboard layout because that was available in Windows. We just basically need to make sure that your everything's set to right to left. So even from the paragraph settings, text direction, uh, right to left, and it should eventually, you'll eventually figure out a way to get it to work. Hope the video is useful. If you want to get more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.